Yeah, let's not go to cap. Dude, this thing is hauling. Hauling. Look at that thing go, dude. <laughs> go. Fellas, happy Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have a second video out today for y'all. So rejoice, tell your grandparents and everyone that loves you. Anyway, so this is the HSTV-L, which stands for, I think, a high survivable test vehicle. And I can kind of see why they wanted to call it that. This thing, uh, look at the upper plate. Look at the lower plate. Extreme angles. And then when you go to the turret, the turret's almost flush. Or it keeps the same kind of angle, though it's probably a little bit less. 72. Oh my god, it's more. Oh my lord. Alright, so we have the APDS. So this is at ten or 500 meters away. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that was going to go through. So it tells me I can pen it, but I can't pen it. Maybe I can't. Okay, there goes a pen. Okay, ammo rack and everything. Now, we don't have any composite in this vehicle. So, very easy to pen from close range. But, you know, at the same time, there might be some trickery. Let's get a little bit lower. Just like this. That looks pretty darn spot on. Okay, possibility is low. Oh my gosh, what, what, what happens here? Whoa, what happens? Wait. Whoa, this thing has literally, right here, this thing has 14, 9 millimeters of armor. Very cool, War Thunder. So th this is a weak spot here, or actually, I wouldn't call this a, this is a very small weak spot. Yep, there goes the bounce. I, I think it has to do something with this um, gun holder. Uh, right here, these are pretty penable. Um... Wow, right in the dome, too. And now let's check some uh, heat out. 380 millimeter pen heat. Wow, does not like that. Okay, this has three millimeters of armor. Oh, my. Oh, my God. And the heat's bouncing off the optic. Oof. Those optic shots are going to be kind of mean. But we can see that a lot of, a lot of the shots that would normally pen, you know, let's say a leopard... Uh, aren't going to be working here. Now on to the gun. Probably the most interesting thing about this vehicle other than the uh, high slopage armor it has. Look how long the 75... Dude, when you guys see XM in front of anything in the military, it, it, it means scary, weird, uh, don't... They mean business. Or you, you just know it's going to be a weird a weird weapon system. Look at the uh, the, the metal. Is this rolled? Oh my god, they have rolled homogenous. Having the gun, or a nice gun support. That is one small breach. And you get, I mean, you, you gotta think, this is a 75 millimeter. And with the uh, technology and stuff, it's not like you're shooting a 120 millimeter round out of this. And it looks like, uh, let's just look at the, uh, I haven't looked at this yet, by the way. Oh, okay. 276 millimeter pen. That's very interesting. I thought it'd be a little bit more. Now, let me just go check real quick on the obble. <laughs> okay, so a 60 millimeter gun pretty much has almost the pen that we do at 8.0. Very neat. Now, this thing, let's, let's see how fast this thing reloads. Seven point, a little bit slower. Okay, very neat, dude. Why, why, guys, seriously, why put the money to design a high survivable tart or a test vehicle with a, a high velocity 75 millimeter gun that, that gets 279, 76 millimeters of pen when you can just buy a used car, put a turret on top of it, put a 60 millimeter gun and get 20 less penetration. Very neat. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, I have a new decal that I think is going to be out soon. It's just a refresh of the current one and more of a roundel, so it looks kind of cool on airplanes and such. Okay, but with, without 
but that said, we'll just go try it out real quick. Now, I think we weigh 20 tons for the 650 horsepower engine. Oh, man. Whoa, are these 50 cows? New sound effect for 7.7s? So at, at 9.3, this thing is going to be very competitive. It's just, I'm, I'm just interested in, in how it has 70 or 276 millimeters of pen. I think I'm missing something here. Why does a default scope have 600, 6,000 meters shooting? Okay. <laughs> it is a dev server, right? But still. Um, even even if you could shoot at 6,000 meters away. It, it's not going to really be able to pen that much. Maybe. Now, guys, this is a dev server. Values can definitely change. But that is an interesting thing. Having trouble ammo racking. Oh, we're, we're, all, out of, we're all out of ammo. Oh, my gosh. We got to be very careful on how we use this thing. So it has a it has a pretty slow auto loader, a 5.5 second. But I think what's going to make this thing up at a uh, five or at 9.3 is the armor at decent range, or just the uh, kind of the uh, meme bounces that you can have at close range. But I'm going to show you one thing real quick. That is so sad. We cannot pen that. Makes sense with the values that we have. There we go. Okay. Now, you know, high survivable vehicle, whatever, right? But it really doesn't matter in War Thunder with how accurate our mouses are and, you know, just how we play this game is that this is, this is going to get easily. Here, we'll just use this gun because this gun's really not that strong for 9.3. Just right here, just put it right through here. Ammo every time. It's a pretty poor design for, you know, a video game. They should have known better. But right here is... Now, at the same time, you know, if you're aiming there and you're off by a little bit, maybe you might be like, well, this... I mean, even if you're off by a little bit, you're going to just pen these optics like nothing. Th this thing is not high survivable at all in this game. Um, th these optics just don't work well. Uh, and with how accurate we are in this game, this is just going to be a... Look, look at this. So, if you're a little too high, you're going to hit here and pen. With potential ammo racks and turret rings and stuff like that. Or if you're a little low, you're just going to hit right here. So, we're probably not going to last long here, but at least on this map, we can get some range going on. I want to see a uh, F-104. Hmm, I kind of want to get engaged here, but I don't think anyone can make it out of spawn. Beautiful noise. Whoa, pull up, pull up, dude. Woo! Dude, imagine. I feel like if they invested some more money into this, we could have an, a, a, a auto, a 75 millimeter auto cannon on this thing, right? Wait, what am I looking at right here? Huh. Oh yeah, what's our depression? Negative 13, that's pretty darn good. Ah, okay, that's really cool. So, how we play this thing is kind of get right here. And then you can really start to see the angle the enemies are going to have to shoot at us. And right here, look at that. The very, the, the, the ground amplifies our angle. Oh, enemy right? I think that's a, um, what is that? What is, what is that? What? 
What the? A tight 93? What the? Okay, we're gonna have to have, to have a look at that thing. It's an AT. It's I think it's an anti-air Jeep. Oh, that might be the coolest thing added. Dude, I can't wait till they start adding those those kind of vehicles. What is what? This is so this is so weird. A whole new curse. But we also have to understand that this isn't like a main, um, a main attacking vehicle. Okay, let let me reword that. It's not the tip of the spear. This is a scouting vehicle and stuff. And for what it is, it has great, you know, potential performance. We're in trouble here. Bombs out on him? I don't know. I mean, for what it is, this thing's going to do great for 9.3. We got a vehicle to the front right. Hard to see. Surprised I've actually lasted this long. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. If we push around to the right, we're, we're kind of dead already. Oh, type 89 to our right. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Look at it, yeah! <laughs> I think what that guy is doing is just shooting down our planes and people are re returning the favor. That is what I'm really excited about. I know, I know I'm know, i supposed to make a video on this thing. Woo. But uh, th th this is going to be a very cool vehicle, trust me. But if you give me a Jeep and um, rockets on it, I'm going to have a ball. Oh my gosh, is that... Oh, come Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that like broke the game for a second. Oh, look, that was survivable. Oh, oh my God, the guys, look, there goes the Mirage. How many of you guys are excited for the Mirage? Oh my, oh my gosh. What the fuck is that thing? A hunter? What is that? There's so many new vehicles, I just don't know. Yeah, let's not go to cap. Dude, this thing is hauling. Hauling. Look at that thing go, dude! <laughs> go! Uh-oh. Uh, dude, that poor guy! Oh, no, okay, good. He's, he's still alive. Whoa, man. I love custom battles. See? This is what War Thunder is like in our heads. Oh, ow, ow, ow. What was that? Okay, I think that's going to be a game. I got to check out that Type 93. We might be able to get one last kill here. Whoa. Oof. Oh, 
I got him. I hit him. <laughs> the, the, the game's like, good job. You hit him. Nothing's going to happen. You know, it is a high velocity round and everything. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, you know, looking at this thing as a scout vehicle and stuff like that, it's 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 going to be a great vehicle. You know, you're quick. You're going to be uh, uh, the, to the side of targets. You're going to be scouting. And um, you have a pretty decent setup here. I don't know if this penetration is going to be here when it's live, but it's still good. Like, it's still great. Well, it's still good. Um, you got to be weak spot shooting and maybe barrel shooting um, in some situations, but this is enough pen, I guess. I guess. Uh, the, 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 this is what we kind of need to figure out here. Will it be able to go? It definitely should, but let's just double make, triple make sure. This is a threat that you will face many times with that new HSVT. And can it go through weak spot? Yeah, you're good. That's where a lot of tanks have to shoot this thing anyways. You're good. Very excited about this vehicle. A uh, ton more devs for videos on the way. Guys, thanks for the support. Have a great day. See you later today. Peace out.